Hi fat stringers and low end lovers, how the devil are you today? Okay, so today we're doing the fourth, I think, is, is it the fourth part? I think it's the fourth part of my song, which is available to look at right there, uh, to view even. Uh, yeah, and this is the bit where we're going to drop down to C. Um, and I'll be 100% honest with you, when I, was, when I recorded the song, uh, I just randomly dropped. And I thought, whatever note I hit is going to be the note that I hit the next, that I start that part of the riff on. And I didn't think I'm going to drop to C, but I just, luckily, I just dropped down to C, and it was just a, a coincidence. And um, yeah, so got really, really lucky there. Um, I, I, I kind of figured that it probably would be about there anyway, because once you kind of like understand how to tune up and you learn where the notes are anyway. So yes, so that's what happened there. Okay, so what we do before we did, we did yesterday we did that. Uh, and then what we do is we do a really simple. Yeah, and all we're doing there is doing a mute on the E string um, and then coming to the fifth fret on the E string, just playing it twice. Yeah, uh, with a middle finger. Nice and simple. Uh, and then we hit an open E, and that's when we're going to knock our bass down to C. Um, I recommend if you don't know, if you can't. If you can't, I've got a few tuning lessons, haven't I? I mean, I've got one of these tuny things here. You could use one of these. I've only just put this on. I didn't use it for the video or the song. Um, <laughs> you could use a tuner like that, um, but what I would recommend you do is just come to C, which is the third fret on your A string, and that's the note you're hitting. Okay, but you're gonna do it on your E string. So let's go down. About there, right? If you can learn how to do that, that way, it's a lot easier than, well it's not a lot easier. Um, a tuner's fantastic, obviously, but I just kind of like the, the idea, the traditional method of learning where your notes are. and it's, It just trains your ear better, I think. Okay, so we're, we're about C there, yeah? Okay, and the strings get a little bit, they're beginning to get a bit flappy. It's so heavy down there. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're in C. We've dropped our E string to the C. We're gonna do two open E's. Quicker than that. <laughs> uh, and then come to the second fret on the E string with your index finger. It's exactly the same as the first part we learned, but the end note is different. So we're doing two open C's. And then we're coming to the second fret on the e, uh, C, the e string, but it's. <laughs> I'm going to keep on calling it the E string. So two open E's, come to second fret, do another two open E's. So we have. Okay, uh, and then come to the third fret on the E string uh, with your middle finger, and then hit that. Do another two open E's. Come to the second fret again with your index finger. Do another two open E's. Come to the third fret on the E string with your middle finger. Uh, so, I'm gonna do another two open E's. Okay, so we have. Yeah, I did too many there. Anyway, so then come to the fourth fret, okay, on the E string with your ring finger, and then do a vibrato or bend. Or, just want to get that essence in there, so we have. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, you just want to get it. You want to get it nice and kind of tight. Yeah, I mean, when you do your bend on the fourth fret, there it can be a little bit more subtle than just a little bit there, like that. But again, it's all in this hand, really. It's this. Yeah. Sounds a bit floppy and dirty over there. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's about it. That's the fourth part. And tomorrow, I think we'll have a look at the 
There's a solo, isn't there? There's a solo right at the end of it. Yes, we'll do that. Hey, my friends, thank you for watching. I should see you in tomorrow's basically.